This is a Raspberry Pi Pico and I use a lot of these and it's based on the RP2040 which is the IC there. Now I've used them recently to do a lot of RAM and ROM emulation uh, mainly in 5 volt systems so I was extremely interested when I saw a comment on Hackaday from Eben Upton which said that the RP2040's GPIOs are 5 volt tolerant when they're inputs, not when they're outputs, which is quite standard, but they're not 5.5 volts uh, tolerant. So, not being 5.5 volt tolerant, not too much of a problem to me because all the systems that I was using, like this FX9000P, are 5 volt systems and they tend to run below 5 volts anyway. So, I thought what I'd do, because I had a couple of broken RAM chips in this 9000P which were causing vertical lines on the display. I've got other videos about this machine and fixing it. I thought I would try using a Pico with some wires on it plugged in to the RAM socket to see if I could emulate RAM instead of buying the RAM chips and uh, because the RAM chips to buy originals are 26 pounds each including shipping for me and I've got two broken ones and I think I might end up with eight broken ones eventually. Uh, this is a much cheaper way of doing it. As I read the comment by Eben I thought I would try using it without any level shifters which I did do. I built two of these and I ran it in this machine. It worked, it fixed the RAM chip problem. So this is an emulator of a RAM chip. Um, I thought I'd try it without level shifters and I ran this machine for many days at about two or three hours a day and there's been absolutely no problems at all with either of the uh, Picos that I put in there on wires. I subsequently made a PCB which is a RAM chip replacement, it's a 4044 RAM chip replacement. This also works fine and uh, I have run, well it's, there's some some others in there now which are running. And you can see the display is fine and they've run for several hours as well, no problem at all. So it does look like the RP2040 is actually 5 volt tolerant. Now I've started to use it that way and taken the level shifters off some PCBs that I've used or designed. Um, this is a cartridge for the 9000P which has got two Picos on it. Now this is the first revision of the board and it's got level shifters here. In the machine now is the second revision which has no level shifters on the address lines. And that has been working for many hours as well, perfectly fine. It's still got one of the level shifters, it's still got this one here, because that's on the data bus and occasionally the RP2040 or Pico is driving the bus as outputs and it could be that there's contention on the bus and those outputs could be driven to 5 volts and as outputs the GPIOs are not 5 volt tolerant. So I've also plugged this into this machine which is a sort of makeshift Pico logic analyzer which I put on top of the Z80, just clipped it on, no level shifters, just scanning all the um, address data lines and a few control signals and I managed to get traces out of that and again that has been fine. So I think the answer to the question is the Raspberry Pi Pico and or RP2040 5 volt tolerant, I think the answer is probably um, I'm going to keep running these and I'm not going to put level shifters on my Pico designs now. For things like that it would have been a pain putting two level shifters on there. In fact I'd probably need three of the ones that I was using and there's not a lot of room on that board so having it 5 volt tolerant is extremely useful.